Good morning and welcome to the Breakfast Biscuit for Monday, September the 23rd, 2024. It is 6.05 a.m. And this morning we find ourselves in Hebrews chapter 8, beginning at verse 8. And you have two titles to choose from this morning. The first one is the New Deal, meaning the New Covenant, or the best news I've ever heard. And I think that they both apply equally uh, to this passage of Scripture and to what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for us. So for your weather roll-in while people are tuning in this morning, just a little heads up. It's not a lot of news out there. 75 degrees on the way to 92 for a high, bright sunshine, negligible chance of rain, and winds out of the south to 10 miles an hour. By the way, this coming Sunday at the SeaTex Church at our home in the Hollow Dome on Walden Road at 10 a.m., we will continue conversations with Jesus with the Apostle Peter and his conversation with Jesus, part three. We had the good news, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God, blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but the spirit of God. That's the good news. The bad news is, uh, get thee behind me, Satan, when Peter told him you will not go suffer. And now, the bottom line, Jesus is going to say, if any man would come after me, here's what he must do. I think you need to know that. Oh, and by the way, if you wouldn't mind, give the Breakfast Biscuit a little share, a little bump, a little love, a little something, and spread the good news around Southeast Texas, if you would. So yesterday, speaking of SeaTex, yesterday was a great day at SeaTex Church. And by the way, for those of you outside the local area, SeaTex stands for Southeast Texas. So yesterday was a great day at SeaTex Church. We talked about the master plan for our campus. We talked about Jesus' mercy to Peter when he really, really messed up big time. And then we gave an invitation. And after the invitation, we celebrated the Lord's Supper. The Lord's Supper was celebrated first at Passover when Jesus instituted it, when God delivered his chosen people from Egyptian physical bondage. That's what they were celebrating when Jesus instituted the Lord's Supper was Passover. Now, when it was instituted, <clears throat> the Passover, it was done with a perfect and sinless lamb being sacrificed and the blood being placed on the frame of the door. Remember what John the Baptist said about Jesus, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. It would commemorate the perfect sacrifice and would remember the deliverance of God's people from spiritual bondage. Furthermore, the old covenant would be replaced. Jesus said, This is the new covenant in my blood. Listen to what that means. By a new covenant, here's what it means. The old covenant was based on obedience to the law an endeavor in which we all failed miserably. The new covenant would be a covenant based on his grace and his mercy and his never-ending loving kindness. He would forgive our sins and would remember them no more. Isn't that just the most wonderful thing you've ever heard? Forgive your sin and remember it no more. Listen to what the writer of Hebrews said in the 8th chapter of Hebrews, and he's quoting the 31st chapter of Jeremiah, Jeremiah's prophecy about what would happen. But when God found fault with the people, he said, The day is coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the people of Israel and of Judah. This covenant will not be like the one I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand and led them out of the land of Egypt. They did not remain faithful to my covenant, so I turned my back on them, says the Lord. But this is the new covenant I will make with the people of Israel on that day, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their minds, and I will write them on their hearts. I will be their God, and they will be my people. And they will not need to teach their neighbors, nor will they need to teach their relatives, saying, You should know the Lord. For everyone from the least to the greatest will know me already. Are you listening? Best thing ever. And I will forgive their wickedness. And I will never again remember their sins. When God speaks of a new covenant, it means he has made the first one obsolete. It is now out of date and will soon disappear. Beautiful passage from Hebrews. Someone from CTEX would like to talk to you. If you're aware of the impossibility of compliance with all the laws of the Old Testament, if you long for forgiveness and reconciliation with God, if you want to be saved for eternity and given abundant life here and now, and if you've had enough of your own vomit and long for a new king, Christ the king, over your life. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Give us a call at the CTEX office and let's talk. And you can make Jesus Christ your leader and forgiver, Lord and Savior, and have him forgive your wickedness 
and remember your sins no more. Best news I've ever heard. Let me pray for us. Lord, we love you. We are so, so grateful for the new covenant where you will forgive our wickedness and remember our sins no more. Lord God, thank you for pronouncing us blameless through faith in Christ alone. We pray that we would walk in a manner worthy of what you've done for us, that we would glorify your name and be a blessing to your people. And we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. So, may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And remember, as always, I love you. I'm praying for you. And I'll see you right back here bright and early tomorrow morning. God bless you.